What if TA fought Jigoro instead of Yusuke? While the answer might seem obvious to some, people do still ask this question as at the very least it'd be a fun matchup. While younger Jigoro is simultaneously the immovable object and irresistible force, TA's catalog of great fights throughout the series alongside his self-sacrificed fighting style make it an interesting matchup. So what would happen if TA fought younger Tagoro in the Dark Tournament instead of Yusuke? Understanding Tagoro in terms of power is pretty easy. He goes out of his way to explicitly detail his power upon introduction, as well as giving specific percentile measurements of his power as the story progresses. During his fight with Jinkai, he states that he uses about 80% of his power. Alongside this transformation, he notes that only four living people, including Genkai herself, had seen it, the other three being the rest of Team Tagoro. This helps us at least establish a baseline. Bui was a member of Team Tagoro that Ye went up against in the finals of the Dark Tournament. He stood no chance against an 80% Tagoro, failing to put a scratch on him and being defeated incredibly casually. Also, it's irrelevant for this video, but it's up to you if you take the flashback scenes of Bui in the anime to be a valid source or not. So the main question before we proceed to whether or not Hiei could defeat Tagoro is how stronger was he during the peak of the Bui fight? If we took that Hiei at 100%, could he handle Tagoro? While Hiei initially can't even scratch Bui, he eventually releases the dragon which changes the tides of the fight. It is important to note that the dragon upon summoning is a different entity from Hiei. In terms of power, it effortlessly vaporized Zero, as well as managed to drive Bui through the stadium and a mountain. While Bui struggled and couldn't scratch it, he did manage to wrestle it and completely redirect it towards Hiei. Of course, following this, Hiei ends up absorbing the dragon, growing immensely in power, once he channels that power, he essentially two shots of Bui that is still in relatively great shape, punching him upwards through the stadium and also bringing him back down to earth. The power gap between the beginning of this fight and the ending is insane. Prior to the fight, after the killing of Ginkai, Hiei attempts to punch the ground to mirror Tagoro's attack. However, as you can see, it's nowhere in the vicinity of even an 80% Tagoro. Obviously, that fight was emotional amongst a number of other things that could affect Goro's power, but all that aside, there was no way that Hiei stood a chance against a remotely serious Tagoro. He went from felling to beat Tagoro's lackey to two-shotting him in the span of minutes. Koenma would even go on to put him in the same classification as Tagoro following the tournament. However, there is one downside to this. Directly following the fight, Kuwabara says, You're invincible, aren't you? You go ahead and fight the rest of them. Only for Hiei to know that his technique exhausted him and that he means to rest for at least a couple of hours before proceeding to collapse. Hiei has a unique fighting style which plays into his character that allows him to be lethal, albeit to his detriment. While he managed to absorb the dragon and use its abilities for an upset, prior to this, Hiei was beat into the absolute dirt. And following the fight, Bui was still in stable condition and able to monologue and reflect on his past, going on to be presumably the only surviving member of Team Tagoro even. The problem still remains, which is that Tagoro is just so much stronger than the rest of his team. While Hiei managed to edge out a victory over Bui, Bui was much stronger than him going into the fight, yet was still subjugated by Tagoro because he couldn't lay a scratch on him at 80%. We even says to Hiei as he is defeated. Tagoro improved too, so much so I have no hope of challenging him again. Losing to you confirms it. I have no reason left to live. While it isn't directly referring to Hiei's power, it implies that he also has no chance against him. The reality is that the feats that Hiei and Bui show during their fight, while are incredible and arguably the most entertaining in the entire tournament, are something that a non-serious Tagoro does toying with Yusuke simply by existing. Melting entire portions of the demons in attendance simply by powering up, or creating airwaves that crush large chunks of the stadium simply by raising his arms. The 80% Tagoro that Yusuke fought also really isn't the same that Team Tagoro would have saw, outside maybe his brother of course. 
The 100% of his power as Yusuke charges up the final spirit gun is more like an 85% in reality, leading to the terms false 80% and false 100% when looking at the actual power of Tagoro. A lot of people tend to downplay him ironically, probably because the characters get so much stronger by the end of the chapter Black Arc, or they take the rankings a little too seriously, even though characters within the show themselves still manage to be consistently surprised. Nostalgia and lazy engagement with the series aside, the reality is that how the fight plays out simply depends on how Tagoro feels that day. It'd be interesting in the sense that the two characters are fan favorites and have an endless list of entertaining moments throughout the series. However, if Tagoro wanted to end it in an instant, he definitely could. While Tagoro probably would take interest in Hiei like he did with both Karasu and Bui, there's probably no chance that Hiei would let him do this. Hiei would definitely pull out whatever technique would guarantee the most damage on Tagoro while also probably ending his own life in the process. It's sort of hard to accurately judge Hiei post-Dragon Absorption, but it's probably fair to put him in the same category as Spirit Cup to Yusuke. It's also fair to say that he more or less guaranteed defeats false 80% Tagoro. Given that Hiei nerfed himself so hard, giving himself the Jiganai and had to work all the way back up to even what he was prior to us being introduced to him, I think it's pretty incredible that he manages to absorb the dragon and even reach that level of power anyway. Of course, going into the chapter Black Arc, he is completely eclipsing Tagoro at that point, so it's sort of a mute conversation by that point anyway. This is a less serious and less fun argument, but I did see a couple people say that if TA actually could or even thought he could take on Tagoro, he would've. You can't rewrite the story and it is what it is, but Yusuke really did have to be the one to defeat him. Given the fight Genkai had with Tagoro, even after losing her power and the fact that Kuramu was open to outside help from the likes of Suzuki really is telling that there just wasn't another way besides betting everything on Yusuke. I'll probably make another video going over the same scenario with Yoko Kurama because I think that could go a bit differently, but yeah, there was just no way that Hiei was touching Tagoro unless he wanted him to. Also, I think it's worth saying that, like, the point in which the characters are actually surpassing Tagoro in the chapter Black Art, they're like absolute monsters. Sensui himself is like pretty underrated in terms of ability even compared to end of series characters. Like, there was always a demon realm that is obviously very Darwinian and hierarchical, so it was always kind of a given that Tagoro was never the final boss or anything like that. I know, like, vibes and stuff are nice, but it's like, the entire point of the Dark Tournament was to shut down Sakyu, who was going to open a portal which was seemingly more dangerous than dealing with Tagoro at the time. Anyway, how well do you think Kie would have done against Tagoro in the Dark Tournament? Do you think that Kurama could possibly do better? Do you have any more interesting ideas or matchups you'd like me to make a video on? Be sure to let me know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel.